religion is stupid. When you strip away all the theological garnishes, it's just a series of stupid answers. Where'd the universe come from? Super universe creator that loves me. What happens to us when we die? We go to super happy fun land. Why are we here? So that God can show us how awesome he is. Why do good people suffer? Because I'll get back to you on that one. Now, apparently, I'm supposed to act like smart people can look at both explanations and some are going to side with a religious worldview and others are going to side with the atheist worldview. I'm supposed to pretend that there are intelligent reasons a person could think that religion is true, but there aren't. And I don't like to pretend things are true when they're not. And if I did, I'd probably be religious. So let me be clear here. I'm not saying that smart people can't be religious. Not sure why I always have to qualify that. If I said, you know, looking for your sunglasses when they're on the top of your head is stupid, I'm under no obligation to remind people that I'm not saying everybody who's ever looked for their sunglasses on the top of their head is stupid. But when it comes to religion, if I don't have the addendum, people bitch at me. So there it is. You know, yes, of course, some religious people are really, really smart, on subjects other than whether or not there's a God, but they're dumb on that one kind of by definition, right? I mean, it doesn't make the proposition any less stupid because even the smart people who are religious aren't religious for smart reasons. And I feel confident enough to state that as an absolute because there aren't any smart reasons to be religious. Now, again, let me be very, very clear here because a lot of people are inclined to make apologies for the smart religious folks, and some of these are valid on some levels, but none of them change the overall dumbness of it. The apology I most often hear goes something like this, right? You, you look at a bright kid, grows up in a religious household, in a religious town, goes to a religious school, has religious friends. No matter how smart she is, she's almost certainly going to come out religious, right? Well, you know what? Sure, I'll see that, but she still got there for stupid reasons. Because it's stupid to assume that your parents and teachers and friends are all correct about something that isn't even logically coherent. I mean, look, any critical examination of theology is going to betray fatal flaws in the logic if you approach the question objectively. And the ability to approach a question objectively is a prerequisite to the ability to approach that question intelligently. So sure, some people wind up religious because they never question it, but isn't that kind of a stupid way to inform your worldview by not questioning shit? You know, if I grew up only around liberals and I never questioned them and I never made an effort to learn what the conservatives had to say despite knowing that conservatives exist, I would be approaching that question really stupidly, wouldn't I? At best, I'll concede that there are, in some instances, smart reasons to pretend you're religious, but never to actually believe it. I mean, look, let's turn to our good buddies at Merriam-Webster. According to them, the definition of stupid is, well, it starts with not intelligent, and that doesn't tell us much. So here's the meat of it. Quote, having or showing a lack of ability to learn and understand things, not sensible or logical, end quote. So not only is religion stupid, religion is stupid in noun form. Religion is a stupid. It, it, it's an artificially imposed inability to learn and understand things. It's illogic and nonsense incarnate. It's stupidity but weaponized. And if you don't believe me, ask any non-religious public high school student in Louisiana. They'd be happy to tell you. Now, of course, there are some people who are nodding along and saying, yes, you know what? Religion is stupid, but it's even more stupid to say that out loud. You're just being rude and unproductive and turning people off and galvanizing the resistance and making us look like assholes. So these folks don't take issue with the fact as much as the presentation. But the thing is, rude is external. I can't control rude. I, can't, I can control honest. But that, that's an absolute that I can strive for. But rude is something that you define. So if I set out not to offend anyone, I'm hamstringing candor for the sake of an unattainable goal. And I'm not just talking about some ephemeral ideal of honesty here. You know, I'm not talking about some internal reward that I give myself for the successful execution of intellectual integrity. I'm talking about the value of defining your terms in a way that doesn't disguise your intention and that doesn't work against your goal. Because the point is, A, that religion is stupid, B, that there's no smart reason to be religious, and C, that religious people aren't stupid. Not all of them, anyway. And I'm not just adding that as a platitude. That's the point. I'm pointing out our strategic advantage. Smart people have been convinced to believe a stupid thing for stupid reasons. That's not an insult. That's a fucking opportunity. And if we're too polite to put all that shit on the table, we're not taking full advantage of it. Look, the defining characteristic of membership in this group is whether or not you're willing to consistently answer this one question incorrectly. 
you're allowed to be right on a varying amount of other stuff depending on the particular religion and denomination, but every religion sets aside certain facts and says you can't be in our club unless you agree to be stupid on these issues. And yet so many people would have me back off of my rhetoric here. They'll say like, well, you know what? Religious people don't make the distinction that you're making. They identify so heavily with their religion that when you say religion is stupid, they hear you're stupid. Well, you know what? Maybe they do. And that's a great opportunity to point out to them what a stupid thing that is to think. But look, when I make the distinction between a stupid idea and the intelligence of the person that holds that idea, that's not some throwaway line to insulate myself from accusations of acrimony. That's the fucking point. I'm not telling mentally handicapped people they're stupid. I'm not saying like, hey, people with learning disabilities are stupid. I'm walking up to a smart person and saying, hey, you know what? Lighting that hammer on fire and hitting yourself in the face with it is stupid. And I'm counting on them to have the intelligence to eventually agree with me.